dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Gotta stack a flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my promise. Yo, let's get original crew. Hey, CJ, what they do, my boy? We got Beyond Scare Straight, the Baki edition. We already know about Baki's dad, you know. We we, we we already touched on that. Hey, also, disclaimer, before we get into the video, check out CJ's video. It's age restricted. So you know what that is, my boy? There's something <laughs> in this joint, and we might just have to censor it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube don't play. And they, they've been playing with us lately. So, hey, you know, hey, just don't... Fair warning already, because some of y'all be complaining about bullshit y'all don't understand. <laughs> Just know that hey, it might have to be censored. Yeah. So don't 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 shut shut. The... Also, hey, just a fair warning, heads up. Hey, we seen some complaints about people complaining about us reacting to anime, and unfortunately, we haven't seen the anime show. So. Hey, if it is, y'all feel some type of way, we might we might not just do, you know what I'm saying? I got into anime from doing these reactions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I started, I enjoy the anime I watch now, but hey. And I got a couple, I got a couple more I want to check out, you know what Fair. I'm saying? Because of these, Fair. of these. So, hey, if it's a problem, because we, we haven't watched all the anime, then hey, so be it, we'll stop doing it, you know? But y'all got to let us know in the comments, you know? Hey. We've seen, like, one or two couple people. Hey, if y'all feel some type of way, feel some type of way. Just well, what about y'all can go watch somebody else? Or, no, we can stop doing it. All right, else. well, y'all let us know, Yeah, I guess. But with that being said, man, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first part. All you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video. Fuck it with a thumbs up. Facts, man. All I'm saying is, you know, from doing the reactions, well, I actually I got into it. So, I actually uh, got into another genre of stuff I never thought I would enjoy. Mm -hmm. But that's what I thought you were supposed to do. Watch yeah. things and found out, discover things. You're like, hey, how do you, I might want, want to check that out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but anyway. Haters. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, let's check this one out. Let's see what it's about. So, dude plays this video on the TV and is this at his house? Oh my god, that's a wife and kids yo this man is disrespectful as shit. look at his face right now you know he's like you know i'm about to kill wife right yo i didn't know this bush was in the ntr Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special video because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Nigga, actually, not even jail. We're going to maximum security prison because our boy Baki done got locked up. So, yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison because, goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy because some of these niggas are the definition of built different. Mm -hmm. But, ladies and gentlemen, Please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison as we will observe pure ignorance, nigga moments, and the art of throwing hands on this special programming of y'all so before we get into the prison we gotta understand uh how the hell this nigga baki even get locked up in the first place i thought he was a kind little soul but apparently he's a menace shit he gonna end up just like his father speaking of his father at the beginning of the season there's a press conference going on because the african army was fighting a ginormous oversized african elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah and this guy right here is the sole survivor so these reporters are wondering okay bro you're the sole survivor so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing and this like shit it wasn't us it was a n that killed that shit a man in all black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare hands at this point you could just guess who did this shit bro i don't know what this man yujiro is at this point now he's out here killing oversized african elephants oh and God. then he ate the that ass just ate a whole ass year's oh, worth of protein. No. And look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? 
You better believe it before he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Bitch, I'm here telling you. You ain't got to hear a damn thing out of my mouth, but I'm going to tell you. I told you now I'm about to go. Okay? Get your ass up and walk on lick them hoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't believe it. Like, look, I stated the facts. I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even going to lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like, if I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands... What the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You don't look at me like this mm -hmm. nigga dumb. But in the Baki universe, shit, I believe anything. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied, and they're like, "Hey, little, nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find." So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all. Like, Jesus Christ. They look like they at least pushing 33. So then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, please, please, you're not the strongest guy. So they like, oh. You looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids like, I right, bruh. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. Mm. So they go to the river, and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the knife, and Baki <laughs> like, so you going to use that small ass knife? I bet. I ain't holding back then. This man is dead serious ready to run the ones with a child and look at little homie he like oh my god this nigga's dead serious this nigga's dead serious i ain't oh. going home to mama today so then baki asks him can you swim and he's like uh a little then baki's like bet so bro flash steps and oh. 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 oh my god he imprinted his head on his ass, ass. Oh. It made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid. But then Yujiro's personal chauffeur, Stridum, comes out of nowhere. And he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are going to go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. Dude. So Stridum's you know, like, you know. All right, how you going to respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father's son fight. But Stridum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I got to find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson. And he's taking Kobe, Yo, what the f in the Casper is going on right what? now? Bro is fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson and is taking damage. Oh, but now nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? This man starts fighting a praying <laughs> mantis. What in the f He's fighting mantis from Kung Fu Panda. I, uh, you, you, I, I. I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So make it make, make it make that don't make sense. Uh, it's a, anybody. It's, 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 a, it's a show. It's a show. It is. We cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President Bosch. <laughs> yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Cause this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. How the f*** you gonna basically let a damn child take the f***ing president? Shit, it won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime <laughs> soon if this is my goddamn Secret Service. So Baki right. ends up having tea with this nigga, and Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the U.S. of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks what is Baki's demands, and this man Baki says, the U.S. Arizona State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. Is this nigga serious? And this man Bush like, wait, 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 you kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitch? That's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this man Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga, I'm going to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty! And he gets incarcerated <sighs> to the Arizona State Prison. So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks for that boy. Warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga biscuit, Mr. Unchained. 
And the reason this man is called Ooh. Unchained is because Ooh. he can leave the prison Ooh. whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, look at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki <laughs> wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Okay. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to his cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell. Oh, so as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate, and it's Iron Ooh. Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So Baki asks Mike, Mike, hey, yo, I know you got to be number two, nigga. You Mike Tyson. But this man, Mike, says, nah, I ain't even in the top ten. All right, hold up. Oh. Wait a damn minute. So, uh, uh, this nigga, Mike Tyson, ain't even in the top ten. Yo, what type of monsters, fucking fiends, you got locked up in this bitch? Nigga, what the fuck is this, Arkham? Right. Who y'all got locked Who up here? Know. Fucking Clayface? Killer Croc? Nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So then Mike. they wake up next morning, and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch-ass nigga gotta be like 7'7". Seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, Hey, yo, second, wake the f*** up. So Check this nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, did this nigga just come out the locker? No, 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 did he sleep in the locker? Oh, oh nah, this man different. So then Baki Fair. asks him, hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, well, ain't no fucking way. Oh, he built different. <laughs> oh, he built different. Hey, hey, he like, bed, what's that? That's a pussy. <laughs> I'm built different, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I feel you, boy. Not me. Ain't no way, boy. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. I'm a warrior, too. Ain't no f <laughs> Ain't no f <laughs> Bruh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm going to put up. I'm gonna have one day. I'm gonna just put all our bulldogs reactions to one, bro. Just so you can have a straight laugh, bro. Cause that was hilarious. Wait, this shit is actually happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. <laughs> oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So while they're lining him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man Gavar is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole cig while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police. Oh, bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Because Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the bidding from the CO. Oh, my gosh, bro. That is so fun. So yeah, Guevara, aka the second coming of the Booty Warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. He grabs the officer's gun, puts it in his hands, and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks oh. dude in his balls. Oh. God, and, oh. and that nigga's decommissioned. Oh. But after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after-school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match, and bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude fell over, and it was wraps. So after Guevara leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy, and he's like, hey, yo, uh, why are you up in there here alone? Oh, you see that sign, you blind motherfucker? So then he pops dude in the back of the head. God damn it. He said, that might be why I got you stripped it, though. Yep, that, yep, that's it. Oh, that's, wow. That's I had to black out. Just say, y'all have seen it. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. Nah. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his butt <laughs> on a yo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from Shit Talking University? Boy got the shit talk, shit talk no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ. I can feel his dislocated shoulder wow. right here. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory. And apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cat in the goddamn Secret Service. You've done it again. So dude plays this video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? Oh my God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to f*** your wife, right? <laughs> yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history besides, well, you know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That sh- is forbidden. But yeah, this man beat the f*** out of his entire security force and took a whole tour of his house. Uh-uh, bro, that, 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments I've ever seen. So later on, the warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So he gets these triplet-looking niggas called the mouth. One's named the lip, the tooth, and the tongue. What in the hell is this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas in unison and shit? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. So they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. So then they put Mike in a quarter and Jesus Christ. God damn. Then they stomped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And, and that man is gone, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Guevara comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus and Morph. Tuck and roll. Child. He had the tuck and roll the whole damn time. Oh, let's see. How you tuck? And he just scared of both like that. Just scared of both. You do. Form. So three Oompa Loompa surround his ass, but then he whips out his and starts pissing on him. Oh! Oh! He really just oh! Out his shit and took a piss on him. Mother. Like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Uh-huh. Sent his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. Yeah. And the other nigga pissed his pants and I got the step in. <laughs> 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 Yo, this nigga pissed his pants. And then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later That's on, hard. back at the cell while they're chatting it up, this big nigga biscuit Bust up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Guevara, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his Mercy! shit. So then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man, Guevara, spits on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so before the fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just some shadows of her. And we don't get to see much, but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. Yo, this man Biscuit is a savage, but yo, this man is down bad horrendous. Now it's a day of the fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this. The number one and number two are about to throw down. So then Biscuit's coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like, hey, yo, no way. This could actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all thinking, all right, yo, she got to be fine as hell. She got to be the baddest chick we probably ever seen. Well, uh... Ain't no goddamn, my mind must be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way this 
My 600 pound life rotisserie ass chicken. Oh my god. Nigga, the I was finna say something, but the he Lord me. muted me. He me. Cause I was finna say something that I know doggone well I ain't need to say. Yeah, let's just keep going. No, I ain't. I'll tell you after this. Mm -mm. It's the bed! This gotta be the biggest what the actual fuck moment I I've ever seen in an anime. You, hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp. Ultra simp, but hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? Who gonna check? Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and is still standing there behind that mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. So how this fight is gonna work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth, and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This oh, Loki okay. is the weirdest way to throw down, but. It. I'm all here for it. So Kavar <laughs> socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his thumb. This might be the craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Kavar continues to tee off on this kid, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man, use the bed on top of the bed. So they just lose a handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far, he cracks into the wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Damn! Planted that nigga like a fool. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there, uh -oh. and, th and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's laughing, so he's like, wait a minute, something's wrong. And all that shit that just played out was a dream because that nigga got knocked the yeah. out nigga shit is as straight as a board <laughs> and everybody's like damn he really just violated that nigga so he picks up his mattress and takes off so as we cut away from the prison for a bit the president is driving but yo you're like wait a minute why is the president driving and then you see this nigga yujiro is in the back in seat <laughs> oh Man, that man too fucking boss and too player, yeah. bro. Like, you see, he got, he like, yeah, yo, bitch, hey, he, he, he ain't nothing. Yo, right, yo this nigga serve. dead ass made the president his butler. So after the fight, the second coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. <laughs> Baki said, fuck it. So I shot that nigga. And do the station the whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding him, holding him up at gunpoint. Yeah, he took their butt. Buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So we tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> that is embarrassing. He had six niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuffs because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Yo! Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did no. not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him. Then he whips out his sh and pisses on him. Hey, yo, oh. what the fuck? Yo, what is up with niggas oh. pissing on niggas? Oh. Damn. What nigga say? <laughs> Did you oh, know? Hold on. But Nikki said That's if I had a okay. What? Okay. That's crazy.
be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at him. <laughs> he like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, uh -huh. that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to Wasella. He's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. So Baki's like, nah. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. Do that. Kicks dude in his face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the fuck out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo and he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Oh, then he swung him like a towel oh, and speared him through like five other cells. Then dog is just beating the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and just eating all that, bro. And just throw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn demon back. And that's when Biscuit knew that plot armor about to kick it real nice. So he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose and bro is having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch over and over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga drops. Okay. Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Her old fee fa fo ass. <laughs> oh, she got up at the bed, see. She said, uh-uh, not she, my man. She got, that's the only time she got out the not bed. Not my man. No, no. <laughs> that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Her old fee fa fo ass. So Biscuit picks up his mattress and leaves the battlefield. And our boy Baki is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained, and now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickle! <laughs> Yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Street. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. Okay. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big announcement real quick. So, uh, your boy made a second channel. Believe it. Uh, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that was lit, though. Hey, shout out to y'all for that recommendation, Thanks. man. Like we said previously before. Yo, y'all spam us up in the... Comment, comment section, section down below <laughs> with the video y'all want us to check out next uh i'm gonna have to check out this anime though you know what i'm saying because this anime just looks like it was too lit bro oh, excuse me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but y'all spam us up again spam it up if you see somebody comment in there already just hit the motherfucking like, like button up yeah. but that doesn't mean you don't have to comment yeah it's just yeah. like spam it up with the light so we can see the light ratio we like all right that's the one y'all really want to see. All right, for sure, for sure, we'll bring it. But please, that's all you gotta do, man. But hey, man, it's always. I do go by the name DJ. Okay, this is. We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear.